The E1 grinder pump is a one horsepower semi-positive displacement pump capable of producing 185 feet of total dynamic head. The function of the grinder is to reduce the size of everything in raw wastewater into particles small enough to pass freely through inch and a quarter pressure laterals. In practice, most solids that have been through the E1 grinder pump will measure between one quarter inch and one half inch. The E1 grinder pump has the lowest flow rate and the largest entrance diameter of any pump in the industry. Therefore, it also has the lowest or most gentle entrance velocity. A jammed or blocked E1 grinder is virtually unheard of, but it is commonplace to find centrifugals that have been starved for flow because the intake is completely blocked by a disposable diaper, for example. Since the pump is turned on and off depending on the liquid level, the grinder will frequently stop while in the midst of handling a tough object such as a plastic diaper or a toy. This means that the next time the pump turns on, the grinder must start up fully loaded. The E1 motor starting torque is so high that it cuts through such starting loads with ease every time. These characteristics, namely gentle upward flow, high torque motor, and the fact that solids need not be ground immediately, but can make multiple passes through the grinding zone, account for the reputation that E1 stations enjoy. They never jam. The claim is often made that a big centrifugal two horsepower pump running at 3500 RPM is twice as powerful as the little one horsepower 1725 RPM unit offered by E1. On the surface, twice the horsepower and twice the speed certainly does sound like more pumping and grinding power. However, if the basic physics of work and energy is revisited, we find that the argument simply isn't true.